Good morning guys from this beautiful island Copenhagen where the weather is more transparent than the blockchain. I love it over here. Today's video guys I'm going to talk of course about the Bitcoin price because we closed this beautiful monthly candle above 9360 which is very positive. We are also going to talk a little bit about Minecraft because Minecraft is being connected to the blockchain. We are going to talk about this beautiful Russian guy that started to mine Bitcoins illegally in a post office. We are also going to talk about these beautiful countries that are now slowly opening their borders again to tourism. So you all will be able now to check these countries and if they could be these beautiful locations for your next, for your next summer vacation because everybody needs a break after a hard year of work and lockdown. So check these countries check this video because we will also talk about hedge funds and how much they invest in bitcoin ethereum and litecoin do enjoy this video today guys welcome to my beautiful office here in Kopangan, thailand during the lockdown during our family's covid lockdown we are still enjoying life on this beautiful green island Kopangan in Thailand. Today guys I need to do the video again on my own beach just in front of my house because I need to do a YouTube show at 10 o'clock in the morning so that's in like a few hours and it always takes me a little bit to edit the videos and everything so I want to finish this before I go into this YouTube show. So, but guys I promise to you tomorrow I will visit a beautiful location somewhere here in the islands and make the video from there maybe it will be a beautiful temple maybe it will be the jungle maybe it will be another amazing beach or the peak of a mountain i don't know but i promise i will find something beautiful tomorrow for you guys today guys of course the bitcoin price good morning yes why because i requested on my birthday please go to 9k on my birthday and then please close this monthly candle around 9360 and what did i wake up to this morning a monthly candle closing around 9360 opening above 9360 so both my birthday wishes have been fulfilled thank you bitcoin and the community for doing this it was an amazing gift for my birthday <laughs> as if my birthday has something to do with Bitcoin okay but yes we closed the scandal above 9360 and why am I so happy about this um, because as I always say I zoom out in Bitcoin so I look at the long term and if we look at the long term in Bitcoin then I cannot say anything else than that we haven't been able to close these candles above 9360 for almost 12 months so this is a big number for bitcoin but if you look even further back to like the bull run in 2017 it, a lot of candles closed and opened below this level so yes this for me is a bullish indicator that everything is looking very positive for a next bull run just like we have seen after the, the past halvings. Does this mean we cannot go down from here? No, that doesn't mean we cannot go down. We can still go down. We can still try to break 10,500. And if this resistance again is too big, we can fall down again, almost up to maybe even 7,500. But if you zoom out in the long term, we still closed a candle above 9300 and as you look at these monthly candles they are huge so yeah they can open at um, they can open at 10300 they can fall back to 7500 but they can also close again in 11000 and it's still the same candle because you zoom out it's a monthly candle hope you understand what i'm saying the biggest resistance we are facing upwards is 10500 us dollars and after that i think it's 13000 900 ish dollars these two levels of resistance are insane big levels of resistance but we have broken them before so we can do it again guys especially because all these institutional investors are getting more and more interested in bitcoin they play long-term games they see this monthly close also as something very positive so there will be some fomo amongst these institutional investors 
because they want to buy Bitcoin as well. It's not only Grayscale that wants to buy them, many more. And if we look at these uh, institutional investors slash hedge funds, you can see that 97% uh, of them holds Bitcoin, about 67% holds also Ethereum, and I think it's like 37% also holds Litecoin, as you can see in this beautiful graph. So um, yeah, they don't only invest in Bitcoin, they also trust Litecoin and Ethereum and many other coins, as you can see, but they are smaller holdings than the Bitcoin. Still on the monthly chart and Bitcoin, guys. So we close this beautiful candle above 9,300. Um, what does the MACD tell us? If we look at the MACD at the monthly chart, guys, we can also see that this one starts to cross bullish, which is very positive, which means that also the MACD on the monthly chart is um, a perfectly set up for a beautiful bull run to come. If we look at the MACD even in the weekly chart, this one also looks very bullish. We zoom in to the daily chart, guys, then we can see that um, this new channel is forming on the daily chart, which is not an upwards channel, it's a downwards channel. So daily we could see a pullback. Top of the channel is around 9,700, this is the resistance, and this bottom of the channel is around 7,600, so that's a huge channel we could move um, in between. But again, guys, I always zoom out, I look to the monthly chart, and this one is very positive at the moment. The weekly chart is very positive at the moment. Also, the MACDs are very positive in these two time frames at the moment. And yes, Bitcoin is volatile, so we will see movements in Bitcoin. Um, but again, let's talk again in 12 months' time when Bitcoin probably already broke its all time high and is running up to a new all time high. And then you can understand what it means to zoom out and that buying Bitcoin around 9k or 8k or 10k didn't really matter because at the end it multiplied by 10 and so you just had a little bit less profit and that is not the worst thing in life. Biggest support also in this channel is around 8700 that's the mid middle of the channel so yeah I could see a pullback to around this level again but then slowly go up again um, again guys all the charts tell us a little bit the same even the chart of Lisa I shared a few day, a few times this uh, week already you could see the Elliott wave playing out yes it's also saying the same that we could go down to 9k ish region again before to explode so they are all telling me just a very positive story so I always stay positive I always see the glasses half full and I always manage my portfolio in a way that if uh, Bitcoin even uh, drops or dips, I'm not losing everything. I'm even buying more in these dips. This is a very simple strategy you can play and it's not difficult to learn. You can find a lot of information on, on this strategy in a few blog posts I made on the website, thebitcoinfamily.com. So do visit our website where you can read a lot about Bitcoin, read a lot about our life and read a lot about these beautiful t-shirts we are also selling because we want to use a part of this profit to give it to the poor people all over the world. So we support charity with about 25% of the profit we make with selling these t-shirts. We just added really cool t-shirts to the web shop and they are for every Bitcoin generation. Um, so everybody that get, isn't Bitcoin at the moment is from a certain generation, you know, the generation X, generation Y, generation Z, generation the boomers, you know, and for every generation we created a cool t-shirts and the best part of these t-shirts guys is that you can edit the date below the text and you can edit even the text a little bit so you can fully customize this t-shirt to um, how you want it to be. Um, they are cheap, they are like 15 bucks or something, so do check them out, 25% goes to charity. Thank you for checking them out and even eventually supporting these people all over the world. I will soon make a video because we have been selling a few of these t-shirts already and the profit I will um, use now to give to a local charity here in Koh Phangan, Thailand and I will make a beautiful video about it to show you guys that we really share the profits with the people that need it. Guys, did you read this beautiful news about this head of this Russian post office? 
um, really cool news. This guy is the head of this local post office and he has illegally been mining Bitcoin since um, 2019. So he has, I think, mined a shitload of Bitcoins as well illegally. I don't think they can confiscate these Bitcoins because they probably don't know which wallet he sent those Bitcoins to. And maybe the guy was even smart enough to use CoinJoin on the Wasabi wallet, you know, to mix up the Bitcoins and make them private all the way. Oh yeah, that reminds me to this news I read today as well. There will be a new way of making your Bitcoins private. It is called CoinSwap. It is already a, something that exists a long time, but now they are going to build it on the Lightning Network and then they are going to try to make it very easy usable. And it will take about like eight or nine months, I think. We'll go deeper into this on one of the next videos when I did some more research. What I was telling you about this Russian guy uh, mining illegally Bitcoins uh, in his post office. Yeah, this is, I think it already happened a few times that people illegally mined Bitcoins like in a huge scale using even a nuclear uh, center, I think, somewhere in Russia. Some, one, there was a guy mining Bitcoins. Uh, people get creative why because they want to own bitcoin and i understand they want to own bitcoin bitcoin is just this beautiful evolution of technology that will create this beautiful revolution of the monetary system this will be a huge huge point in the history like we remember these moments in history of the steam machine of the first car of the first landing on the moon bitcoin will be one of these beautiful moments we in the future will remember as part of our history that changed the monetary system so yes i understand why they do all these illegal things to get bitcoin <laughs> why wouldn't you no that's not advice you cannot do illegal stuff you need to officially buy bitcoins doing kyc and all those things because else you're a bad 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 person that was a little bit sarcasm i hope you understood the sarcasm just do whatever you need to get Bitcoin. <laughs> oh my God, Didi, you're the worst person on earth. You're advising people now to do illegal stuff to get Bitcoin. Do I need to use a disclaimer for this? I don't know. Maybe my video will be uh, uh, shadow banned or even fully banned because I said do something illegal to buy Bitcoin. I am not a financial advisor. I am not a life advisor. I am just a guy leading by example, leading a life by example for his kids. And hopefully other people will see that leading ex by example for your kids can be very nice and can provide you with a very beautiful life and can set you free from the modern enslavement um, we like to call life. So hopefully you understand. I don't want to push you to buy Bitcoins. I don't want to push you to change life i just want to show you by leading by example how you also can lead life or how we um, create this portfolio in life of all our capital so that nobody can take my capital from me nobody can freeze my capital and maybe even we get lucky and our capital will increase the next couple of years when bitcoin goes into this bull run some other amazing news guys for the gamers out there minecraft now meeting the blockchain using the engine blockchain technology which will make it possible to connect your crypto wallet to the minecraft game which will lead to a huge amount of possibilities in the future because you, you will not only be able to store your assets in minecraft you know all the stuff that you can um, get in minecraft on your blockchain but you can also start to exchange them with other minecraft players and you can even start to um, attach your engine wallet so that you can even you know start to exchange these tokens with other minecraft players yes gaming will have a huge influence on this whole blockchain technology on this whole tokenization of assets so i think gaming will be one of the leading components when it comes to main adoption in the youth because they will understand that an online virtual asset can be tokenized and can be monetized and you can even monetize your skills let's see how many people will start to use it as you can see guys the sun is really shining here on my head and um, i am on a beautiful beach and probably these videos i've been making will give you this 
um, sense of oh my god I need my freedom I need to get out of lockdown I need to go and book my next vacation because I need some time off but everybody out there has the same problem because they are all doubting about which country can we go which country are we allowed to go which country is safe to go the last part the safe part I don't even want to talk about this because I really think that every country is safe to go if you just make sure that your immune system is very strong you're healthy and you know we you can handle any kinds of flu the other two things they will be difficult parts because not all the countries will allow you to go to the country and if they even allow you it won't be easy because some of them will you know request this quarantine phase of two weeks somewhere in a hotel and all that stuff and that's not what you want to do when you go only on holiday for three weeks because then you would have one week left to um, enjoy your vacation I did some research on which countries are slowly opening their borders and which countries do want to be open around July when all the school holidays should start if it comes to Europe guys then I read Cyprus Spain Italy Portugal these beautiful tropical locations are all opening their borders again to tourists from the mid of June to the beginning of July and the most of them will be fully open again and accepting tourists without any any kind of quarantine and I also forgot to mention Turkey and Greece because these two very popular um, locations are opening the borders from the mid of June as well to all tourism without any quarantine or anything else you can just visit them and enjoy them like you did in all the years before because you don't want to dip into the sea with this mouthpiece or you don't want to don't want to sunbathe on this beach with this mouthpiece because if you are going to do this during your summer holiday you will get a very crazy tanned face that will be white in the bottom dark and off if you go to these countries I just mentioned you will just be normally tanning on the beach where you're being served a beautiful cocktail to enjoy your hard deserved free time after these hard months of work and lockdowns and all that shit if you look a little bit further than uh, Europe or the States um, Bali is slowly opening its borders again in Indonesia which of course is a very beautiful destination Thailand is still not sure but then you also have Aruba which is opening up their borders again many countries that are depending on tourism will open their borders around July because more and more countries will see herd immunity will save their countries as well so that it is not bad to let tourists in so I hope you will find a beautiful location and um, we don't know yet as a family what we will do our visa will run out on the 31st of July we don't know what Thailand will do with our visa if we need to fly out to extend our visa and uh, we will search a beautiful uh, location to extend our visa Bali is on the top of the list because we love Bali and July would be a beautiful period to visit Bali because then it's summertime there as well so we will see and uh, maybe we'll even fly back to Europe for a couple of weeks you know to visit family and friends but we don't want to get locked down or locked up in one of those countries where we don't feel completely happy so we need to check what will happen but we always go with the flow and some kind of beautiful adventure will again arise and we will just go all into that adventure and then we will see again where that adventure will bring us I want to thank you guys for watching again I hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video please give the video a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel and hit this beautiful bell button so you'll be notified on every new video I make even when my small channel gets shadow banned the channel is growing tremendously which makes me feel very positive on the content I make it shows that people like it thank you for sharing the message to your friends and family um, I even had this cool story <laughs> that's the last one I want to tell you there was this guy he was liking my videos every day so he watched this video every day and then he went to office and this he wanted to show these videos to his friends and he, he was telling his friends guys every time when uh, when this guy does his video he starts by jumping into his beautiful office it's just a cool intro check it and you know what happened exactly that day he was in the office showing this video to his friends I had the video with the intro where I started to talk to this beautiful animal instead of jumping onto the beach too all his friends were laughing on office and they were like man I think you got the wrong video there he's not jumping onto a beach he's talking to animal he's Mr. Doolittle or something like this <laughs> so sorry I did this uh, intro with a different thing in a different style that day but uh, 
please show this video to your other friends in the office now with these beautiful intros where I drive a scooter to a new beach or I even jump into other beaches just by clicking my heels. Thank you again for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button. And I will see you guys tomorrow again from this beautiful island in Copen, Copangan. And like I promised, I will show you another beautiful location. See you tomorrow.